Hello everyone, welcome to Medico Physio Actors. I'm Prajwal Amis. So let's get started. Uh, today's concept is the lifting. Okay, so we get back pain, right? Back pain. And uh, studies show that we get back pain due to the way in which we lift the object. Okay. This led to the study of lifting. So lifting is an essential part of our daily life, right? And uh, lifting involves accessing, movement and placement. Okay, accessing, movement and placement. So there are two kinds of lifting. Okay, two kinds of lifting. One is the stoop lifting. Another is squat lifting. Stoop lifting, squat lifting. Okay. In stoop lifting, you flex at your tracheal lumbar, that is your spine, pick up the object to lift the object. While in squat lifting, you keep your spine erect, you keep your tracheal lumbar erect, and you flex at your hip and knee to pick up the object. Okay. In stoop lifting, we flex at our tracheal lumbar, right? So that means there is more anterior shear than the posterior shear. Okay, and the extensor muscles which produce the posterior shear have stretched beyond their length. Okay, they have stretched beyond their length. So that means they go for passive insufficiency. Okay, passive insufficiency. So that they cannot produce any more posterior shear. That means the anterior shear acting on your spine will cause back pain to your spine. So you can conclude that the diminished capacity of your extensor muscles due to the excessive anterior shear will cause you the chances of back pain. Okay, in stoop lifting. In squat lifting, you keep your spine erect, right? So there is more posterior shear than the anterior shear. The spinal erectile muscles produces more posterior shear than the anterior shear. So that means this posterior shear, which is produced excessively, can eliminate or reduce your anterior shear. So there is no chances of back pain. Coming to intradiscal pressure in both kinds of lifting, in stoop lifting there is more intradiscal pressure because you are flexing at your spine, your vertebral column. That means intradiscal pressure, intradiscal pressure is more. Okay. In squat lifting, you are keeping your spine erect, so that means there is reduced intradiscal pressures. Coming to muscle work, in stoop lifting, considering the quadriceps, at the beginning they are at high activity, at the middle low activity and at the end of the lifting, stoop lifting, they are again at high activity. In squat lifting, the quadriceps are at high activity throughout the lifting. Okay. Considering the hamstring muscles in stoop lifting, at the beginning low activity, at the middle moderate activity, and at the end they are at again low activity. Okay. In squat lifting, hamstring muscles are at low activity throughout the lifting. Okay. So come, let's do this practically. In stoop lifting, as I said, we bend at the track of lumbar to pick up the object. In squat lifting, we keep our spine erect, flex our hip, knee, and pick up the object. Okay. In stoop lifting, as I said, we bend at the track of lumbar. What happens here is there is more anterior shear acting 
than the posterior shear. You can feel that if you are doing with me. Okay, so there is one anterior shear and a little bit of pain in the field if you pick up the object. Great, so that means extensor muscles in the spine, they are stretched, they are stretched beyond their length. So that means they go for passive insufficiency. So they cannot, what? So they cannot produce more posterior shear, so that the anterior shear produces more and this is a back pain. Okay? In squat lifting, you keep your spine erect, flex your hip and knee, and pick up the object. So you can feel that there is no shear, anterior shear, and a posterior shear supporting you. That is because the spinae erector muscles are able to produce more posterior shear and eliminating the anterior shear. So that means there is no chance of back pain. Intradiscal pressure in stroke lifting. Okay, you are flexing at your spine. You can feel that there is more pressure throughout your spine. They have nothing but intradiscal pressure. Okay, that is more. In squat lifting, you can feel that there is no kind of pressure or else you can feel a little bit pressure. So that means intradiscal pressure is less in squat lifting and more in stoop lifting. Muscle work by quadriceps in stoop lifting. Okay? You can feel that while accessing there is more work required. That is the quadriceps. Okay? And at the moment you can feel there is no work. And when you place it, again you will feel the quadriceps work. So that is at the beginning high, at the middle low, at the end high. In squat lifting, you can feel there is more quadriceps required throughout the lifting. Okay. In squat lifting, it is required at the beginning, middle and at the end, there is high activity. Talking about hamstring muscle work, in stoop lifting, at the beginning, low activity, at the middle, they are on activity, they are moderate activity. And again at the placement, low activity. Okay, because quadriceps are active there, right? Go at the beginning, moderate at the middle and go at the end. In squat lifting, you can feel that there is only quadriceps acting. So that means your hamstrings are at low activity throughout the squat lifting. No activity or you can say low activity. Hey, I hope you understood something. If you have understood, then return me the favor by subscribing. And if you have any queries, question, or you need uh, notes on lifting, then you can comment below or you can contact me through my Instagram directly. Bye bye.